Temperatures have been very hot in the past few weeks, and the great British public have been taking full advantage of this fabulous weather. Many are asking, does this represent a heat wave? Well, every summer, a heat wave plan is produced by Public Health England. It ensures local authorities, professionals and community groups are ready to advise and protect especially vulnerable people with certain health conditions. Before we explain how these alerts get activated, let's first look at what's behind this prolonged, fine run of weather that we've been enjoying recently. The reason that we're getting all this fine weather at the moment is an area of high pressure that's developed over the UK around about the start of July and it's been sitting over us ever since. It looks as though that'll stay with us over the next few days, but there are signs that things may change next week. Many associate the word heatwave with the chance to get out there and enjoy outdoor pursuits. It's a different matter though for Public Health England and the Met Office. They work together closely to help protect those who could suffer from the effects of high temperatures. But what actually triggers a heat health alert? These plans come into effect if we're expecting high temperatures in a geographical area. So if we're forecasting high temperatures on two consecutive days and in the intervening night, then a heat health alert is going to be issued. Now the level of urgency goes from a low of one to a high of four, but that highest level has never been reached. Here at the Met Office, we want people to enjoy the summer, but safely and also to reduce any potential harm to people most at risk from the dangers associated with prolonged periods of heat. So, if you want more information about whether your region may be heading towards a heat alert and where to go if you have concerns, log on to our website or go to our homepage and click on the heat health alert once it's been activated.